name is Jenny Lindblom. I'm from Sweden and I'm a di director of education at the National Agency of Education. I think that what we can do as policymakers is to really acknowledge that the connection is so very necessary to have that connection between curriculum uh, assessment and pedagogy and so one of the things that we've done in Sweden to try to manage this is we had a, a new redesigned curricula for preschool class two years ago and um, one year after that we started to design an assessment material that really focused on the competencies that were uh, written in the curricula and we also, in the assessment material, uh, put in different group activities with collaboration and communication uh, to really show the way the pedagogy is supposed to uh, be in the classrooms. We've done a pilot and the pilot shows that the teachers actually say, through this assessment material, we found out what was in the curriculum. They didn't see it before when the curriculum was new, even though we had support material and we tried to implement it, but the assessment material that has now been taken out, it, it brought forward, actually is it's mandatory for everyone. So it's a great discussion going on and, and everyone is focusing on this. Uh, we also have a, evaluations in uh, going on for three years concerning this to really see what is the change in pedagogy? How do they focus on the competencies? And how is the curriculum really shown in the classrooms? And what, is that, what, what happens to the teachers? Uh, do we get into the mindset of the teacher? Because I think that's the key to uh, actually change. The teachers who've tried this in the pilot the first year, they have really been very positive as to seeing the kids really motivated in these activities and also uh, getting this greater understanding of how do we use competencies in our education? How can they really help? How can we get away from only uh, looking at the facts? I think the message is uh, two things. I think it's uh, the structural idea of really using assessment as an impl to implement curricula and to implement pedagogy using assessment for that is something that I know we're not many who try that way but uh, so I think that's an idea to really get assessment into the, the equation uh, and the other one is of course getting into the mindset of every teacher to, to get everyone to really feel that this is necessary, that this is important, that the competencies that we as policymakers try to um, show as a good way forward in education, it's never going to happen if you don't get into the mindset and the heart of every teacher and, and really into every classroom. I think that the, the main thing is motivation and getting everyone motivated is the way to go to really foster this in the long run because we want the children, the students to leave school with a sense of wanting to continue learning and how do we do that without mo motivation? So I think that the idea of all these skills, attitudes, values and the learning compass that describes this is to get everyone's attention towards reflection and, and really thinking ahead in the long run. So I would say motivation. I'm, I'm an assessment person myself, so I would like to say evaluations and tests and going on like that, but really I think the motivation part is the key.